Hey, what is going on, bladers? Been a little bit, uh, but yeah, here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a Beyblade that's been in my backlog for a minute, and it is going to be none other than the exclusive Hell's Chain 380 Flat. Now, this is the Persona version, so it's a, it's a special Beyblade, uh, basically a compilation of aesthetics from Team Persona to make this Beyblade happen. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just going to be in the standard, like, uh, special box that you usually get for the BX00 line. Uh, but, you know, besides the box, there's nothing really going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Now we have the code that you can go ahead and scan into the app. Uh, unfortunately for you, I already scanned mine. So yeah, I got mod registered in the app. But I don't think I got any points. Um, I think you get like zero points, or maybe just 100 points. Uh, but you get the little like instruction kind of safety pamphlet. And then you get the stickers right here. And you're also going to get this little card that has a nice illustration on the front. And this is what I like. I like these little type of freebies. Uh, it's not a postcard. It's pretty much a TCG style, you know, size card and everything. But it looks really good. And I'm pretty much just going to throw this right on the wall. Um, I don't know if I really have any kind of frames that would be this small. So I'll put it in maybe like a TCG sleeve and then put it on like a stand. So it looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm definitely stoked to have this in the collection. And next is going to be the Beyblades, all nicely wrapped up. I like how they do that, just taking a little bit extra care for the blade in particular. But yeah, let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at them. All right, now looking at the blade, which is obviously the Hell Scythe. So I love it, man. This is a good, good looking blade. Uh, you're going to have that kind of like a metallic infused blue right in there for the plastic. Man, this just looks awesome. It looks phenomenal. I, I love the sticker in the middle. You got all the colors, uh, pretty much representing the, the main blades of uh, Team Persona. Middle illustration of like the combined Drawn Sword and you know Hell Scythe and um, Night Shield. I think that looks really cool. And I wish we had more bays like this that represented the entire team in the Beyblade X line. I think that would be absolutely just perfect. You know, I, I would have ran this you know, probably back in like November time frame, November, December time frame, I would have ran this, but you know, it's a little bit too late. I know it came out, what, probably I think March or February, but I was already moving again, things packed up and ready to go. So I didn't get a chance to actually use this bay. And next we're gonna have is the 380 Ratchet. So 380, I think is going to come into play in the future. Uh, as of right now, though, I mean, there's really no representation for 380. 70 is kind of a good bait, like a good size height for a ratchet right now. But 80, man, that's almost like counter meta for like a lot of stamina types, just depending on what blade you're using. Um, so yeah, I don't really care for 380 right now, or just the 80 height. It's a little bit too tall for my liking because everything's using 60, so it's all hitting the ratchet at the moment. Now next is going to be the flat. And pretty much you cannot go wrong with the flat bit. I have like a thousand flat bits at this point, but I, I still feel like this is a bit that you just cannot go wrong with when it comes to attack types. Uh, and it's kind of funny that you're getting this with this blade, but I guess they want to get like all encompassing for, you know, like basically getting Team Persona represented. So this is coming from Drawn Sword. I think the 380 came from the original Night Shield. And then obviously you have the Hell Scythe uh, Blaze. So pretty much all representation of Team Personas here. And for the stickers, you basically just get, uh, I think this is Maltese color. And then here in the middle, it's just going to be X's like color scheme. But I'm not really sure where Bird's color scheme is coming from because you know Bird is like predominantly red. Uh, but the you, you, only thing you got is from um, X's helmet. So yeah, I'm not really sure where the stickers fit Bird, but it, it's fine. I, I think it's a pretty cool color scheme either way. And here it is with all the stickers attached. And my God, I think this just really brings out the color overall. Uh, the fact that these stickers aren't like really bad, like I don't wanna say cardboard stickers, that doesn't make any sense, but like the paper style stickers, you know what I'm talking about, like those really cheap like quality, that's not what these are. These are like premium quality stickers that, oh man, they just go on the metal so smoothly. Absolutely love it, man. Oh, 
Now I'm starting to feel like I should probably bring this into a tournament and just like at least play a little bit with it. Um, but yeah, I mean the blade itself looks gorgeous with all the stickers on it. It just, it really completes it in terms of like tone and aesthetic. This is just peak right here, my lads. Absolutely love it. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, snap this together. All right, guys, and here it is all snapped together. Looking absolutely good. Perfect. Ah, man, I really do love this, to be honest. Like I mentioned, the 80 height is not my thing, but aesthetically, this looks just perfection. And I really want to go ahead and have it on the uh, the shelf as a, a display item. So going to just do a couple battles with this. Uh, luckily, it's not like coded or anything. So yeah, I can do a couple battles and it should be completely fine. I'll probably just throw it right onto the shelf for display purposes. But yeah, I mean, it looks great, guys. What, what am I What am I going to tell you about Hell Scythe that you probably have not already heard or played with yourself? You you know what Hell Scythe is all about. So let's go ahead and uh, let's actually check the weight. All right, so it's zeroed out. Let's go ahead and see. 32.8. So I will be getting a uh, another digital scale that just has the extra decimal point so you can get the most accurate reading. But yeah, I mean, 32.8, that's either a super low 32.8 or a super high 32.7. And together with everything, we're sitting at 42.1, so pretty low. All right, guys, so we're just going to do two battles. I'm not really going too crazy today for uh, for this particular bay, but let's go ahead and see how the Hell Scythe will fare against the Leon Crest 760 on a Hexa. So, this is gonna be a pretty rough battle, but let's just see how well it does. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right. Looking good, looking good. Ah, not enough steam though. Leon Crest on Hexa's Pretty damn good, so yeah, I wasn't expecting it to actually defeat that one. Three, two, one, go. Two, one. Oh. oh, wow, it's over. Three, two, one, go. Two, one. Oh, wow, extreme finish. So yeah, it sucks that I got the extreme finish on itself, but it is what it is. I don't think even in a regular tournament environment with the stock, it would definitely not do anything against the uh, the crest. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. It still did a pretty decent job. Now for the last battle, it's going to be up against none other than the Drawn Buster. And it's going to be on a non-60 with a gear point. So a little bit of a unique build I've been just kind of like messing with. Uh, so yeah, pretty much like a balance type against a attack typer kind of semi-balanced because you know the blade itself kind of more stamp is pretty much stamina type so it's a weird weird balance with the attack type right here but yeah balance against balance i would say all right good. get some good hits yeah. clean in the pocket Oh, wow, into the pocket it went. Oh, good hits, good hits, but oh, into the pocket it goes. So yeah, it looks like the Drawn Buster took that win. All right guys, so what can I say about this Beyblade for my final thoughts? It's good, it's a great Beyblade. I honestly really like it. I love the blade because I just have history with the Hell Scythe. It was one of my favorites, and I just I, I won a lot of a lot of matches with it. So Hell Scythe has a special place in my heart, but I don't see myself using it really in the manner that I used to nowadays because the meta has shifted so much. Can it still be used today? Yes, absolutely. You could probably throw ball on it like I used to. I think I did 360 ball. And that was like my go-to. And I did a little bit of needle. Uh, I thought needle was fine, just to give it a little bit more of like that. I felt like I was maneuvering around the arena a little bit better and evading attack types much easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could definitely throw 
anything you really want on it. This thing is going to do some pretty good damage. Um, so if you want to go ahead and just throw a, you know, an attack type bit, yeah, go ahead. Looks like one of the stickers are peeling from the battle. No! No, not already. It was only a couple of matches. But, yeah, I mean, overall, guys, this is a, this is a good enough blade. I mean, you're not going to find this for anything more than, what, like 25 bucks, 30 bucks online. So it's still relatively cheap. So if you want this for collection purposes, definitely go ahead and grab it. I mean, this is a prime, prime bay for your collection for display. For usage, flat's a good bit. 380's not really prevalent right now. And the blade itself, it's fine. It could, it could definitely be used if you want uh, a more stamina focused bay. And I don't know why, but my little stand is not consistently working. <laughs> but honestly, guys, that's it. Look, I don't have anything else for you. I can't really mention anything else. This thing's been reviewed by every single person that's probably a Baytuber. Um, so I can't really give you more input than what they have already given. But what I will say, me personally, I like it. And if you like the aesthetics of it, go ahead and grab it. Or if you want to try and test your hand at seeing how viable it's going to be at this meta, you can go ahead and grab it as well. Or you can just grab a regular Hell Scythe, whichever is your fancy. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. This is like a super, super short and sweet review because this upcoming weekend, we got the El Drago coming out. So going to be a very, very busy weekend with that. Uh, two different, you know, forms or I guess types or modes. Yeah, modes, I would say. And then we got the whale. So that's going to be that little random booster that's going to be coming out. So pretty excited, guys. We got a great weekend ahead of us. So I want to at least give you a little something, something uh, just to start the week off. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.